Jésus, que la main de Dieu visite votre vie. Amen. Et je voudrais annoncer à quelqu'un que le début de ce séminaire annonce aussi un nouveau départ dans ta vie. Je prie et je déclare que de nouvelles choses arrivent au nom de Jésus. Amen. J'ai dit un grand merci à Dieu pour la bonne santé et la tranquillité qu'il nous a donné. Amen. Et je rends grâce à Dieu de nous répondre encore en bonne santé. Soyez abondamment bénis. Je disais que soyez bénis. Amen. Père, je recommande ce moment que le saint par le travail de Dieu. Ouvre-nous dans ton trésor du ciel, ô Éternel, notre Dieu. Nous prions, ô Père, que le ciel reste élevé. Visite-nous par le Et que la personne qui va nous parler ce soir fasse tout simplement que l'Esprit de Dieu va passer pour amener la destinée de quelqu'un dans une autre endroit. Et je prie au nom de Jésus que Dieu atteste et accomplisse ses paroles. Au nom de Jésus, Amen. Soyez bénis. Je vous salue tous au nom de Jésus. La Bible déclare béni soit celui qui vient au nom du Seigneur. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer le Seigneur Amen. Voilà, aujourd'hui c'est notre premier jour. Nous allons parler de ces grands thèmes qui euh, les amis de la destinée. Today is our first day. We will speak about les amis de la destinée. The friend of destiny. Il y a beaucoup de choses à dire là-dessus. There are many things to say on it. Même si j'écris les enseignements, Even if I wrote a teaching, je vais me laisser emporter par le Saint-Esprit. I will leave moved by the Holy Et Spirit. Et je suis sûr et certain que dans ces séminaires, Dieu va parler à quelqu'un. And I know in this uh, seminar, God will talk to someone. Je suis sûr et certain someone. que Dieu va amener la destinée de quelqu'un quelque part. God will bring your destiny somewhere. Je suis sûr et certain que l'Esprit de Dieu va descendre Spirit of God will fall on a family. Someone will take a new direction. At the end of God will take someone from the point A for point B. I am in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 le verset 12. Le verset 12. Ecclesiastes chapitre 4. Le verset 9. Je vais lire jusqu'au verset 12. Est-ce qu'on peut s'élever pour honorer la parole de Dieu De Valnéca, parce qu'il retire un bon salaire de leur travail. Car s'ils tombent, l'un relève son compagnon. Mais malheur à celui qui est seul et qui tombe, sans avoir un second pour le relever. De même si deux couches ensemble, ils auront chaud. Mais celui qui est seul, comment aura-t-il chaud Et si quelqu'un est plus fort qu'un seul, les deux peuvent lui résister. Et la corde à trois fils ne se rompt pas facilement. Amen, amen. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer la parole de Dieu? Le deuxième texte, je suis dans le livre de Ruth. Le second texte, in the book of Ruth. Ruth, chapitre 1. Ruth, chapter 1. Le verset 16. Verse 16. Je commence par le verset 15. I start by verse 15. Ruth, chapitre 1, le verset 1. Ruth, chapitre 1, verset 1. Pardon, Ruth, chapitre 1, le verset 15. Je vais lire juste. Verset 15, until the end. Je lis au nom de Jésus. I read in the name of Jesus. Naomi dit à Ruth Voici ta belle-sœur est retournée vers son peuple et vers ses dieux. Retourne ta belle-mère. Pardon, retourne comme ta belle-sœur. Ruth répondit, ne me presse pas de te laisser, de retourner loin de toi. Où tu iras, j'irai. Où tu demeureras, je demeurerai. Ton peuple sera mon peuple et ton Dieu sera mon Dieu. Amen, amen. 
Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Someone did not understand. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. We can see them. Il m'a été demandé de parler sur les amis de la destinée. Les amis we'll de talk la about destinée. the friend of destiny. Il y a beaucoup de choses à dire sur ce thème. There are many things to say on the title. Suivez-moi attentivement, s'il vous plaît. Follow me carefully, please. Comme j'ai dit, suivez-moi like attentivement. Like I said, follow me carefully. Il est toujours important quand on lit un passage de connaître qui a écrit cela. It is very important to know who wrote a text. Et c'est lui qui a écrit et, et c'est lui qui a écrit Ecclesiast. And the one who wrote Ecclesiast. N'est pas un homme ordinaire. Is not an ordinary man. C'est un homme extraordinaire. Is an extraordinary man. C'est un homme qui a reçu une grande sagesse de la vie. It's a man that received a big wisdom in life. Et il s'est fait and you know how to do um, praise of people he made praise of connections praise of friendship here we can see how Solomon is alone because in his work he did not have a great salary a, like a lonely person because when he falls he doesn't have someone to help him and Solomon is against the person because in, in difficult moments uh, no one can fortify him when they are fought no one can fight with them no one can help them in the fight no one can help them in difficulties no one can resist to the fight and Solomon is against the people who are alone am I talking to someone and the great Jesus too when he was uh, trained his apostles he sent them two by two he did not send them one by one when he sent them to teach he sent them two or three even Jesus knew the importance of connection and when the ark was, was built it has four parts it had four corners Am I talking to Parce someone? Que que because God wants the ark to be to move. Pas par un seul person, not by not only one person, but but by four levites. To be together and Ça accompany the ark. Meaning that there are many things in life. Pour que les for those things to be okay, to work well, it had to be accompanied. Am I talking to someone? It's the same with your destiny. Your destiny is like the ark of God. It's a coffer of of God. It's very important. But you cannot take it alone. You cannot take it by your force. Am I talking to someone? You cannot take it alone. Say to your neighbor, your destiny, you will not take it alone. Your destiny, you will not take it alone. Who are the friend of destiny? 
My talking to someone. The friends of destiny are prepared by God. Am I talking to someone? The friends of destiny are people prepared by God. They are sent by God. Am I talking to someone? God sent people around you for a goal. Am I talking to someone? God sent people around you for a goal. He sent people for you to reach your, your real destiny. Your destiny is very great. You cannot carry it alone. That's why God sent people to accompany you. And those people will come to protect you against deviation. Those persons are called friend of destiny. The friend of destiny are the friends of destiny are not angels. They are human beings. They are human with qualities. Spiritual training. Difficult times of life. But God from train them for you. God tie them for you. You can be here and God is training someone else for you. God is training someone for you. God is arranging someone for you to protect you of deviation to guard you on the way of your destiny. Am I talking to someone? for helping you to reach your real destiny. And God gave them a power for your life. There are people God sent them around you. And just to give you advice. And if you have a friend or a person that you consider and you remark this person gave you enough advice and is take care of you and he give you uh, help let me tell you that he can be a friend of your destiny am I talking to someone because God place friend of destiny around you for reach your real destiny am I talking to someone can we clap for the Lord There are people God puts around you for a richer destiny. God gave them capacity. God gave them power. God put them around you to help you. A friend of your destiny has the right to watch on you. They don't, people don't like, they want you to leave them, to live their life the way they want. They don't want to be with you. They want to be alone. They don't want to be watching. They are not the friend of your destiny. God put them around to watch on you, to advise you. Someone who is the friend of your destiny, you will get advice to give you. And you should give it the right to 
advise you. Am I talking to someone? And if you refuse his advice, it means that he's not a friend of your destiny. Because the Bible says two people cannot work together only if they are Okay. If me and the pastor, we are not okay. I cannot preach here. Am I talking to someone? If our spiritual father did not recommend me to prophet, I will not come here. Then if I'm here, it's because there are someone who is great that earth that recommend us. He look in the destiny of the man of God and someone shall reach a enter in his destiny. And he organized a meeting for the blessing to say. You will understand me soon. Am I talking to Ce someone? Que Dieu a donné it's, de nous aussi. it's people that God gave us Souvent to correct us. Sometimes in friendship, nous we don't like advice. Nous pas les we don't like correction. Nous pas nous we don't like discipline. Nous que, euh, we just like encouragement by the friend of your destiny. It's not only the person that comes to encourage you, but sometimes he can correct your faults. Am I Je talking to someone? The friend of your destiny is not just to encourage you, but he can correct you when you have a fault. He has the right to say that this place is not good. We are singing together. Good. But you have sinned here. Because you have sinned. Do you know that I love you? But Sunday, this Sunday will not sing. The friend of your destiny will not leave you. Serve God in sin. You will understand me soon. Les amis de la destinée the friend of your destiny sont des personnes loyales. Are loyal people. La loyauté c'est une chose qui est devenue très rare dans ce monde. Loyalty are become a very a people in this earth saying friend of your destiny but behind you when you are not they can speak bad of you. Loyalty is very difficult in churches. You change, you can sing in the same chord. But you see your sister is not very good. I did not like your clothes. After the service you say, you go to say, look at the dress that she wears. And she says, you are a friend of her destiny. Where is the loyalty in the churches? Where is the loyalty in around the man of God? How many times we gave we gave uh, uh, information and some people do it. But you say me, I'm talking to the pastor, I will not you are cursed. You are cursed. I'm telling Dieu, you the truth. God is a God of principle. God is not in friendship. Am I talking to Dieu someone? Respect le God respects principles. The difference of a Christ le Christian is the principles are the same. The problem is that the Christians have du mal à pratiquer la loyauté. The problem is that Christians cannot practice Je loyalty. I am not uh, speaking good of Christians, but I am saying dans le, dans la in spirituality, principles are the same. 
stand up to midnight to pray. They say, stand up and go to eat. But you, you sleep. And you see in the morning, he is prospering. It's not because he has a great power. It's because he's loyal in his witchcraft. But you are not loyal in your Christian life. That's why the end of God, Isaiah 59, says, No, the end of God is not short. No, he's here very short. What makes the hand of God short? It's because you don't pray. Because the end of God is not short. If you pray, the end of God will touch you. But if you don't pray, the Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 3, Oh, you will hear the prayer. All men will come to you. This verse means there is a person in heaven that hears prayer. Person in heaven prayer. And the Bible says that you are obliged to pray because a person will hear our prayer. But if you don't pray, how God will act in your life? The spiritual principles are the same. Am I speaking to someone? The spiritual principles are the same. I'm talking about loyalty. Loyalty is very difficult here. We announced we had a seminar on Sunday. We was full. But look today. Where are the loyalty? Where is the loyalty? And I want to say you this. God, for him to bless us, he can stand on only one thing. The loyalty. The loyalty. Listen, in the spiritual world, the forgiveness does not exist. If I lie, you can go to ask David. If I give you principle, he says, stand up to 5 a.m. And you did not do it. When you will go to the temple, he will say, what I will give you at 5 you give. But God is very merciful. You can leave the prayer by 5, you will come to 6 he will hear you. But the problem is, where are the loyal people? Where is your loyalty? Face to face to your neighbor, you promise him something, but it's like a debt. You promise, why it becomes a debt? Or the promise is a debt. What is the problem? The promise is never a debt. The promise becomes a debt. If you want to give and you cannot give just by pleasure, but in the spiritual world, when I, you say I will give, it, it means that you should give. That's why in science we talk about karma. Meaning what you will do will, will come to you, but we cannot believe in it. We are Christian. Be a loyal person. Am I talking to someone? Be a loyal person. Even in the house of God. Be loyal in your business. The way you serve God, be loyal. The way you search God, be loyal. Am I talking to someone? Am I blessing someone? The loyalty. There are people. A friend of destiny can never speak bad on you. He will not say things before, behind you. If he has something to say, he will come to tell you in front. My sister, what you did, I'm not happy. Never. Uh, next time, don't do it again. But you know. You know. You see, it cannot pay. It cannot pay. Am I talking to someone? You have. You is, it is better to get a person 
that is loyal, that criticizes you, in front of that many people that speak behind you, it doesn't have importance. That's why the Bible says you can be alone better than bad company. I don't, I don't have friends. But let me tell you, even Jesus, for coming on earth, he had he had a mom that we call Mary and he had uh, he needed the protection of Joseph am I talking to someone if Jesus needs someone how will be about you I pray in the name of Jesus that God sent you good person. God sent you loyal person. That loyalty can be part of your life. They say God we have a destiny to be together. Am I talking to someone? Am I talking to someone? They are loyal persons because it is impossible to be loyal without. If you are a friend, you should be loyal with him. You should be loyal. There are people who will love you sincerely. The friend of destiny a friend that will love you sincerely. He will love you without condition. Am I talking to someone? They will love you sincerely. They will not have interest in your life. Every person that loves you by interest is not a friend of your destiny. He will not love you because you sing well. He will not uh, help you because you are beautiful. He will come to you because God said, put something in him to share with you. I pray you can meet those kind of people. They will not come because you have money. I pray that people watch you and I say, I am a billionaire, but I want to be a friend with you. Am I talking to someone? I repeat. You blessed him. You blessed him. God blessed someone, but he came before you. He has a great ministry. And he said, I feel we have the same destiny. And I will associate with you. I pray God to meet you with those people. Listen what the Holy Spirit tells me. The Bible says, uh, the friendship of David and Jonathan had trained Mephibosheth. One day, David woke up and he asked a question. Is it not in the family of Jonathan, someone, and Tuban wake up? He said there is someone who calls Mephibosheth, but he's very far at Lodeba. They say, call him, you come to my king, to my Tuban, wake up again. A, a law saying that uh, people without feet cannot eat David with the king. David watched him and said, Mephibosheth, find David, grace before Tiba, me. Que tu as? Tiba, what do you want? Tiba, di, oh, mais la loi a été par but and Tuba said, the law was written by you. That the the people that has foot age cannot eat with you. He said, no, no, okay. Come with Mephibosheth. Because of the covenant before between David and Jonathan. I want to say to someone, the covenant with God will bring good person around you. Even the law around you. Despite the law, 
The people that have food age cannot eat with the king. But the same person break it because of a covenant. I pray in the name of Jesus that your covenant with God open your doors before the great people. I pray the covenant of set you in a great place. Your covenant with God we call it grace. We call it the grace of God. It's not respecting the law of men. There is a law which says no one can enter to see the king if he did not call him. Esther says I'm in the race of grace. And despite the law I will, I will enter. And Esther enter and the king did not call her. And the Bible says Easter find grace before the king. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will find the grace in your work. You will train find in everything you will do. Even in university you will find grace in the mighty name of Jesus. waiting that you attach yourself to Naomi for Naomi to send you in the place of your destiny. I tell it another way. There is a good job somewhere, a very cheap that went that is leave you where you are so that they will send you there. I pray in the name of Jesus that you meet those persons that will send you where it will be your destiny. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. The Bible declare now we take roots. They went in a field and stayed somewhere. Now we say, I become very whole. I don't know what I will give you. Stay here. Just work. Take things with the men. I like the word of God. Just go to take uh, just some fruit, and the Bible says. Now me inform the harvest servant, servant that a servant came help her to, to take with you. When the Bible says, I want to say something to someone. The day when you will enter this business, it will be the day the chief will see you. When he will see you, he will see you, he will give you good because it's the place of your destiny. Am I talking to someone? The Bible says, the day they sent you is the day where Paul came. Even the servant was amazed. And sometimes Paul did not come in the day by coming at night. But this day, Paul came in the day because the grace of God accompanied it in the place of a destiny. When you will come to the place of your destiny, God will open doors before you. I repeat, why you will come before the door of your destiny, you will find it open. You will not have a good to make good for I pray in the name of Jesus that you enter in the place of your destiny and you can go forward. You say amen in attach to you. When you will go in the place of your destiny, you will find the door open. You will find the door open. The door will be open for you. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. I pray to be attached to you. The Bible says, Boaz came. And somehow when Boaz came, my God, the Bible declared, when God uh, is okay with the way of one person, he can help his enemy. The devil was distracted. Ruth was there. She was clean. She was clean. And Boaz came and he asked a question. 
Who is this woman? Oh, it's she, she is a strange person. Oh, she found grace to my eyes. I want you to take her and to come be with you. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will go to to Anne and tell you and you find grace. They will watch you. They will tell you. You will not go. Pass the interview. Take the visa. Oh, Amen. Oh, Am I talking to someone? You will go somewhere. The professor will tell you. you. I see you are very intelligent. I put you in this class. I am talking to someone. You will find someone before you. You will say, this is the way. Go and walk on it. And the angel of God will walk with you. And the, oh, the supernatural God, door will be open before you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Paul say to Ruth, go, Glenn, take the things. And one day, one day, there is only, every time one day, you cannot know one they can birth. You cannot know what one day can give birth. I want to say someone something. A billionaire. And people who are not billionaires. They are only 24 hours. And the 24 hours. God can visit you extraordinarily. Lift up your two hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord. Make me meet. The person of your destiny. Help me to meet. With the man of my destiny. Help me to meet. The woman of my destiny. Help me to meet. The friend of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. From today. This heaven can be open. Open. Father Lord, help me to enter in the place of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Prie, 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 prie. Déclare, dis à Dieu, je vais entrer dans le lieu de ma destinée.